Oh, is that? Uh, wait, what's going on? <laughs> oh, the elevator does that randomly sometimes. I haven't gotten around to filing a maintenance request yet. <laughs> Divin King. Wonder who that is. Anyway, thank you for the notice. I'll send a representative to this meeting. The pleasure is mine. Dang. Who's the Dividend King? I didn't even get to see anything. <laughs> Unless... This is... Oh? <laughs> now we don't see... Your teams are lucky that I can control the elevator from my desk. Oh. If the suit have seen you, I would have been required to report this security breach to Robert. Oh. Regardless, good to see you again. Are we going to find out who the Dividend King is at some later update? I don't have any other appointments today, so feel free to stick around while I fill out some forms. Let's turn that up. It's so hard to hear. There we go. Now we can hear it. It's still a bit too quiet. Unfortunately, I'm not at liberty to tell you um that information oh you're probably interested in knowing who that suit was i'll inform you that major changes are on the horizon for this company robert was quite angry when the new regional managers failed to bait your silliness i don't think i've seen him this angry since john quit he's having me fill pick file paperwork for a number of new hires that suit you heard was one of them oh He's having me file paperwork for a number of new hires. Oh, wait. I already read that. Um, there we go. Now we can really hear the music. Although, maybe that's a bit too loud. Play music 90. There. I think that's a good spot. Yeah. I wonder if um, recent events have made him insecure about the state of his company. Inter-company uh, negotiations allowed us the opportunity to visit our parents a few weeks ago. I took this opportunity. I have nothing against my parents. And it was nice to see them for the first time in a while. Um, but my brother did not. Something about lack of availability and wanting nothing to do with his parents. Between you and me, I think he resembles them a lot more. Then he wants anyone to believe. Hmm. Interesting. This is definitely new music. So this must be a hint for what's to come, basically. Um, unless... It's in that find that family uh, boss that I haven't done yet. Wait, he wants to hire her? Sorry, I probably shouldn't be talking about this around you. Look how angry he got. He was red and all that. My brother's paperwork for a new hire includes a form for Crystalline. That screwhead Malaprop should have a fruit pie thrown in her face. It would certainly mess up her appearance, which seems to be the only thing she cares about. Hmm. Very interesting. <laughs> I do not do not know what Malaprop is, but I'm definitely gonna look that up later. Oh man. <laughs> So yeah, this should be, this is basically a hint towards new manager cogs, I guess. What's to come in the future. Very interesting stuff. I'm excited. I don't know why Robert is still married to her. 
It's unclear to me what positive qualities she brings to their relationship. This isn't, isn't to say that I'm an, any expert on the subject. I've never been in a relationship with anyone, and I have no current interest in changing that. Interesting. So, hmm. At the same time, I hardly describe Crystalline's feelings for my brother as romantic. She's using him for some ulterior motive, and he cannot see through that. Through the act. Uh, and I've already seen how it has changed with him. Really? Hmm. Um, yeah. Now we wait. Wait some more. We've got some music to listen to. Do 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 before all of this happened, me and my brother were very close. Oh, really? I followed him as he founded this company. Mm -mm. I accepted my role as second best, not that I minded, of course. Now that Crystalline is here, it feels like I'm third, fourth, maybe fifth best. Huh. He doesn't talk to me much anymore, at least not outside of the business. Hmm. My brother is my lifeline to the rest of the suit world. Without him, all I have are my plants. Is it me or he has a lot more plants in the office than before? <laughs> anyway, forgive me for dreading the idea of my sister-in-law as a co-worker. Hmm. Very interesting. So we got a little conflict in the office. And maybe... At home? <laughs> this music is a little quieter, so... I'm going to turn it up. Hmm. What style of music are you guys thinking here? Oh. He's back to more talking. You got some, cat got your tongue? <laughs> I don't want you to get the wrong idea about me. Uh-huh. I'm listening. My lack of interest in romance does not preclude me from fraternizing with other suits. For example, Mary and I chat quite frequently. Uh-huh. You may have encountered her in the offshoring and drilling district. Uh, we have a lot in common. We're both quite passionate about non-suit life. She is deeply interested in those water creatures that are in the area. Oh, is that Rainmaker? <laughs> I find her interests to be quite similar to my interest in plant light. I wonder if there's a bubby in her life. I sure hope so. Everyone deserves a bubby in their life. <laughs> Interesting. I still need to finish my Barnacle Boatyard uh, kudos task so I can fight Rainmaker. <laughs> By the way, guys, I'm, I'm starting to think about um, putting on Hick. Um, I'm going to try that for some. Maybe when I stream and I do some more popular games, I'll stream on Hick and see how that goes. Oh. Um. Uh, wait. Um. Uh, come to think of it, I suspect Mary may have may have one already. Uh, she has told me about a rather fashionable suit 
operating in the store in Iron District. That's this suit is uh Miss Holly Grail. I found her to be rather cold and difficult to understand. However, despite the overwhelming odds, Mary seems to have taken an interest in her design advice. Holly seems to believe that if Mary realigns certain parts of her helmet. Oh! Yield Toontown? I don't know. It'll offset your environmental impact. Something about an influx of positive corporate energy offsetting the negative tune energy. At least that's what she told me. I suspect it's more complicated than that. I need to figure out who, what cogs go with what. I need to look up these names and see who goes with what. In fact, I'll do that right now while we're waiting. So, what flash man? Uh, oh, is it Deep Diver? Mary's Deep Diver? Yeah. Mary Anna. That's Deep Diver. Okay. And then... Holly Gray. Holly Gray. I knew it was Barnacle Boatyard. Okay, that's Gatekeeper. Gotcha. Unfortunately, not all suits are destined to be friendly towards each other. That makes sense. <laughs> Mary told me that she uh, has been having problems with one of our managers in the wood ship and paper district. His name is Spruce, and if Mary is to be believed, he's a real loud man. She told me about the time where they were discussing the environment. My apologies, I should say that Mary's was telling Spruce about the importance of caring for the environment. She asked him a question to determine his feelings about the subject. He laughed in her face and said that the environment ain't no math tip. Any more than I can chop it down. I apologize if my impersonation of him is not entirely accurate, but that was how Mary conveyed his accent to me. Huh. So, Spruce. What the Flash? Spruce. That's Tree Killer. Okay. Gotcha. I always tried to be... Uh, understanding people even if they don't make sense to me. Spruce may come off as rude, but ha perhaps it's an effect of his environment. <laughs> I read his application and he was apparently a lumberjack before he became involved with our company. Wh what effect does that have on someone? Being a lumberjack. To do nothing but chop down trees and talk to other people with strange accents that also chop down trees. They don't even harvest the resources. That's where entities like us get involved. No wonder he sees no use in forest conversation. It's bad for his business. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I mean, look at me. I love my plants, but I stay out of Robert's way when he wants to tear up your land for its resources. That business is important to Robert, so it's important to me as well. It would be prudent for Mary to keep her feelings from spreading too far if she wants to advance uh, further in the company. Hmm. Fair enough. Do 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 Alright, got some good music here. You probably noticed the plate of cookies on the table. Oh, shoot, I actually didn't notice. But those look good. <laughs> I'll have some. Those were a gift from Belle. Uh, you probably seen her in the Brass and Shipping District. I would offer you some, but they're made of ginger. 
tar and crude morsels. I don't think he would like them very much. Well, that's too bad. He would probably like Belle, though. She's a very nice suit. Hold up. Let me, uh... Judy really likes her, too. Uh, although I suspect it's more for goss... It's for more gossipy reasons than myself. Flash. Yeah. Um... That's not Bell Ringer, right? <laughs> no. Um... I actually can't find out who the Bell... The cog named Bell is. Um... Uh, Managers... Oh, is it mouthpiece? Hold up. Uh, yeah, mouthpiece. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, I kind of remember, I'm kind of getting uh, memories to uh, the ARG, because they explained a lot in the ARG on that cogs.ink site. Bell actually gave me a good idea for promotional material the other day. You see, we at the Coal, Oil, and Gas Syndicate like to promote feel-good stories about intercompany affairs. Studies have shown that our employees are inspired to work hard upon reading these stories. At least that's the official line. I suspect Robert just does it to feed his ego. <laughs> anyway, we have this uh, manager named Tawny that operates the luxury suits in textiles district. Like me, they enjoy listening to the radio. In particular, they enjoy the shows on Zootopia FM. Their favorite host quit some time ago to pursue a new opportunity in the corporate sector. An unfortunate event, certainly, and Tani will still learn about it. We begin to worry that it may affect their productivity. Hmm. Alright. Who's Tani? Corporate class. All right, that's feather better. I never memorized all the manager cogs that were in the ARG. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We're waiting. Alright, I think we're almost done, maybe? We decided to track down the radio hosts with the intent of offering them a lot of money to return to their radio, sh radio show. However, we ran into a slight problem. The host was pursuing an opportunity with the coal, oil, and gas syndicate. The suit, Adana S. Charm, is actually a high-ranking manager in our company. Oh, really? Onboarding managers is an expensive, is an expensive and time-consuming process, so we couldn't have them return to their old job at that point. However, we did arrange for a chance meeting between the two in luxury suits and textiles district. They got along quite well, and Tony's productivity has risen significantly. Hmm. Is that pace setter? <laughs> no, that's director of public affairs. Okay. Interesting.
I apologize, I've gotten sidetracked. This is supposed to be about the idea that Belle gave me. Several weeks ago, I was given an invitation to a knitting get-together. That must be boring. <laughs> Never knitted before in my life, but I thought there was no better time than the present to start. On the day of a meeting, I went to the Swanky Music Parlor in the Brassett and Shipping District. I went up to the set of stairs past the ticket booth, and you wouldn't believe who was there. Tony was there, and so was Dana, Judy, Courtney, and Barry, and Belle was hosting the whole thing. I was a bit uncomfortable at first, surrounded by all these suits and being someone who had never knit before, but Belle showed me how to knit, and I ended up having a good time knitting. Really? And chatting with these other suits. I don't think Courtney stopped talking for the entire meeting. Well, that's funny. <laughs> Oh, also, I had to poke Tawny and Barry awake at the end. That's so funny. <laughs> Seems legit. Do, 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 do. Right at the end of the meetings, I went to say goodbye to Belle. She was still in a chatty mood, so we conversed some more. Belle suggested that the company should have an ad campaign center around our textile division. She says that our grandkids make heavy use of our textile products. As someone who also uses these products, I think that that's a dandy idea. I forwarded it to Alan, who seemed open to it. I hope it gets added to the Selba agenda for the next shareholders meeting. It's the least I can do for Rick Bell. Hmm. So you sent it to the VP. Interesting. What is to come? To Tintin, corporate clash. Very interesting stuff. Do, 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 do. I'm almost done with my paperwork, so I'll have to leave soon. Okay. Before you go, I was wondering if you could do me a favor. What's up? <laughs> so, Bobby Jr. recently celebrated his birthday. Well, happy birthday to him. I wanted to give him a gift, so I thought I'd make him something. Mm-hmm. I used my newfound knitting skills to make him a sweater. Oh, isn't that nice? But when I brought it to him, he wouldn't accept it. Oh, that must be awkward. <laughs> Apparently, it's not a smart financial decision to accept sweaters from your uncle. Dang. So now I have a sweater that I'd like to give to you. What does it say? <laughs> I figured that you might appreciate it. Well, thank you. Appreciate it. Anyway, I'm going to go file this paperwork. Thanks for stopping by, as always. Nice. I'll see you some other time. See ya! See ya, -o. Hello? <laughs> uh... Is this part of the game? Did it break? Uh, this is so awkward. Did the game break? Is this part of the game? I have no idea.
Bro, this is so awkward. <laughs> Game? Hello? Am I gonna leave? I'll give it... I don't know. <laughs> is this feature? A bug? I can't... I, I don't know. <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. Now, none of my chat messages are going through. <laughs> <laughs> 